Heavy cloud cover in Mississippi didn't help us much, but many of us were able to get some photos of today's partial solar eclipse. We have team coverage this evening, beginning with 12 News, Tia McKenzie. She attended a watch party at the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science. It's every science lover's dream being able to see a solar eclipse. People in the metro were excited to see the moon cross between the earth and the sun. I'm very excited about it and I'm ready for it to happen. I don't know if like, it's going to come. Years are supposed to be in between. I don't think I've ever seen it. Despite the clouds here in the metro, eclipse watchers were able to see the rare phenomenon. Eight years ago, the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science saw nearly 5,000 visitors. This year, they're expecting to see thousands again. We, last time we saw anything close to this was eight years ago. It's going to be another 20 before this comes around again. So this is an absolutely huge day. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event for a lot of people, once in a blue moon and for a lot of the young ones. The first photo of a total solar eclipse was taken on July 28, 1851. I thought I was going to be blind at first Mississippi's next best chance to watch a total eclipse won't come until another 21 years. Reporting in Jackson, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.